tuned for that but in this video i want to talk about the whispers because we got some pretty cool stuff regarding them before i do begin if you are a fan of the walking dead be sure to hit the subscribe button but other than that let's get started so the first thing we see here is the footage we got back in comic-con where rosita and eugene are running away from walkers and we hear them saying where are they or the whispers i should say now they really boosted up the sound so the where are they is clear as day so um it's pretty cool now but i believe this is gonna be at the end of episode six because Comic-Con trailers for The Walking Dead usually contain footage from episodes 1 to 6. So, I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what the trailers usually contain. So, I'm assuming this would be, and I think it would be a pretty cool, like, cliffhanger at the end of episode 6, where Rosita and Eugene are running away from walkers, and we hear whispering, and then we hear the where are they. Maybe a little more towards the end, so that would be something we haven't seen yet, but I definitely think this scene is going to be in next week's episode. Now, later on in the trailer, we hear Eugene saying the walkers are evolving. Now, this is really interesting because something similar happens in the comics. I mean, it's not even similar. It's almost identical. But I believe the characters are Marco and Ken in the comics. But what happens is what happened with Rosita and Eugene in the trailer. They kind of go fall in a ditch, a little ditch. And we have walkers on top of them. And we hear them whispering. So exactly what happened with Rosita and Eugene. That's where I'm sure they got the inspiration from that scene. But anyways, what happens is one of the characters gets left behind because they're injured. And the other goes back to the hilltop and says... Um, you know, we're hearing whispers, t I mean, we're hearing walkers whisper and talk, and everybody thinks they're crazy, because they're like, what the hell are you talking about, why are walkers talking, so I definitely could see something similar like this, maybe, maybe Rosita gets injured, or gets left behind or something, and then Eugene goes back to Alexandria and tells everybody that the walkers are evolving, and we're hearing them whisper, and, you know, Eugene being a smart guy, they might be listening to him, because the next thing we see here is Daryl, Aaron, and Jesus, and they're looking at a group of walkers, where obviously I think it's gonna have some whispers among them too but they're just like in the middle of this grass field and Jesus says have you ever seen them milling around like that before and Aaron says no uh, but the way Aaron says it he looks like he's very like uncomfortable and maybe a little scared or something so maybe if Eugene and Rosita are the first ones to interact with the whispers and you know Eugene comes back and tells them what's going on and then people slowly see that for themselves because obviously people aren't gonna believe him at first but maybe slowly they see walkers doing human like things and like this for example they're just walking they're just like in a herd here all around the middle and this definitely clearly has some uh, whispers among it because what i think is happening here is that there's walkers and whispers mixed in here and maybe there's some whispers in the middle like talking or something that's why it's kind of holding back the herd or like kind of stopping the herd from moving because there's literally people among this like just stopped and talking to each other i could definitely see that happening and whispers uh part of what they do is they control herds like they walk they walk with herds and they kind of lead herds into whatever way they want so that's why they're also very dangerous so there's definitely whispers among this and I think it'll be pretty cool if maybe like a whisper looks at Aaron or Jesus or turns their head or does something like very human like that gives us that big like holy shit that's a whisper I really want something creepy like that and the whispers are creepy and scary so I really hope the Walking Dead plays around with that and makes them like as scary as possible because I think that'll be really good for the show because the show is supposed to be like a horror show so really I really hope they actually make it scary um but yeah this is really creepy and i'm very excited to see like this slow introduction to the whispers you know a little bit each episode and then they're probably gonna do like the big alpha revealment like probably the mid-season finale or something but i'm very excited to see like the um slow introduction of the whispers and then the trailer goes through a quick little montage of like a bunch of walkers in the dark and the characters doing stuff in the dark so it's gonna be really hard to tell which is a walker which is a whisper but i love how they're playing with the dark again because the walking dead in my opinion is best when it's nighttime when it comes to like atmosphere and tension i love the, when the walking dead is like during the night time but also um daryl got a dog it's it's kind of hard to say because it goes by really quickly but yeah daryl did get a dog and i think it's a pretty cool little addition to the show it's not a big deal or anything but i still like it and one thing that i'm worried about though is if they end up killing the dog one episode or one season that's gonna be a real big gut punch for viewers but um i do think a little you know a dog i mean especially for daryl a character who's always out and doing his own thing i think a dog dog fits with, uh, well with Daryl, so I'm excited for that. But again, we see the group dealing with walkers in the dark. We see Aaron kind of running away from walkers. So the group looks really scared, and he's kind of like wobbling, so maybe he's hurt or something. Maybe this is like after an interaction with the Whispers, because the Whispers, guys, they carry knives. So, you know, they look like walkers. They might sneak up on you and stab you or something. So I know a lot of people thought that would be happening to Rick. That's how he, people thought Rick would die from a Whisper stab. Um, but yeah, that's what the Whispers do. They 
stab people, but they, it's kind of hard to tell because they look like walkers. So, um, yeah, the group is definitely scared of walkers, and I think it's going to bring a whole new element to the walkers, too, because we don't know the difference between walkers and whisperers. Like, it's hard to tell. So, it's going to make the walkers scary, and uh, we don't know which is which. And it's also going to be fun for viewers to, uh, you know, determine which is a walker and which is a, um, you know, whisperer. So, it's going to be a lot of cool, fun stuff coming up. And I actually think it was Greg Nicotero who said this. Now, I'm not sure exactly. It was an article I read a while ago, but somebody in The Walking Dead, I believe it was Greg Nicotero, he said that it's, you know, it's hard to tell the difference between the walkers and the whispers. And he's the one who's working on the whispers. He's making the whisper mask and stuff, which is something that I'm also very excited for because, come on, Greg Nicotero, we don't really talk about how the walkers look like on The Walking Dead, but they're phenomenal. They all look so good. And I can't wait to see how the whispers look like, you know, the masks and stuff. And I think and I'm very excited to see his work on that. And also, I kind of hope they sell whisper masks, like the iconic ones, like Alpha and Beta. I mean, that'll be pretty cool collectibles too. But anyways, uh, moving on, we got one little, um, one last little tease for the whispers um, in this teaser, and it, and it happens towards the um, end here um, with Rosita. This is connected with, I believe, the Ro um, Rosita and Eugene scene early on in the episode, or early on in the trailer. Um, and this is what I mean, like Rosita's bleeding from her head. Look how she looks like. She's terrified. And a character like Rosita really doesn't get scared. Like, we don't see that much, you know, fear in Rosita. So, the Whisperers are some scary motherfuckers if they're gonna make Rosita, um, you know, scared. So, maybe Rosita does get injured and she's on her own. And that's when Eugene goes back and tells everybody, like, what the hell is going on. And then everybody gets prepared for it. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool and I'm interested in it. But yeah, guys, we are in Whisper territory now. Episode 6, 7, and 8, they will contain Whisperers. I'm very excited for it. But that is it for this video. I just quickly want to talk about the whispers because I'm most excited for that I will be doing a video on the rest of the trailer talking about like you know Magna Yumiko and that whole group and I'm very excited for the, these new characters and then also um, an older version of Judith I'm gonna be talking about her in a video so stay tuned for that video hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did be sure to leave a like rating and if you do want more walking dead content like this stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button and I catch you guys in the next one peace